Alright, alright, I'm here on the shoe, and I'm here to talk about some uh, NFL news. Let's get around to it here. Let's try to get all my, most of my videos out of the way today, because I'll probably do the Dodgers recap and the NASCAR review. Let's get my news videos out of the way here, so I can just chill for today. So the Patriots, they have traded running back Pierre Strong Jr. to the Browns in exchange for offensive tackle Tyrone Wheatley Jr., sources say. Wow, league-changing news here from Ian Rappaport. <clears throat> I mean, Wheatley <clears throat> just really isn't that good, <clears throat> to be honest. He he had just started his NFL career last year, and he's 26. Like He was probably easily the worst tag on the Browns in training camp. Maybe Belichick could do some magic work and develop Wheatley. But basically due to the emergence of Dewan Jones, it was in uh, the, I guess their preseason or training camps or whatever, it was an easy, easy decision to move him. I mean, he does have the nice, nice size and tools to be successful in NFL tackle. Maybe the Patriots could do that. I think this is a good, I think this is a good trade. Uh, to be honest, Patriots that need some running back depth. I don't know if they need running back depth. You could maybe they want just want a third running back. Maybe in case Ezekiel Elliott doesn't work out. But the Patriots. So ahead of the cut down day, the Patriots had tackle depth while Cleveland swings the trade to improve the running back room. I'm an idiot. Yeah, Cleveland needed running back depth. So they added a running back. I mean, I think it's a low risk, a high reward. Uh, the Dolphins, they are signing defensive, defensive lineman Zach Saylor to a three-year contract extension worth up to $38.65 million. Man, they really paid whoever the hell this is and not Christian Wilkins. That includes $20 million guaranteed per source for Zach Saylor. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. They're, like, they're not, even, not even paying Christian Wilkins. I think he's probably like a seventh round pick who slept on, so I think that's why they paid him. Paid him now. If I was like, it's an overpay because he probably is a good deal. It's just, I'm surprised they haven't paid Christian Wilkins yet. You're going to pay Wilkins more than that. You're like paying this dude or $38 million. you got to pay uh, Christian Wilkins more than that. So after months of negotiations with Deep Slime and Christian Wilkins, the two sides were unable to come to terms. Miami eventually turned its attention to Sailor, who gets an extension. This would be a huge loss for Miami. I'm sure Wilkins wants big money. Miami has some good players in Davis and Sailor who have a cheaper price tag. But but this dude over Wilkins, though? Hmm. Uh, the Giants, they are releasing running back James Robinson, source says. Man, what a fall off. Uh, from that 1,000-yard rookie season to Urban Myers completely botching it the next season, he gets injured. He gets traded to the Jets. Uh, then he's gone from the Jets to another team, released to the Giants, and they released. Just crazy. Just what a fall off. And he isn't bad. Like he just doesn't have, doesn't have that burst anymore since he got injured. And, like he has good vision, great between the tackles, runner. But I think his lack of speed. That's why ATN was drafted. He just he's never really had that burst. But Achilles injury is one of the worst running one of the worst injuries in sports. So uh, the Bucks they will play center Ryan Jensen on season ending injury reserve. Thanks to the complications from the knee injury that robbed him of nearly all of the, all of last season, GM Jason Light announced. The injury is so significant that Jensen likely had played his last day on the NFL. And prayers up to Ryan Jensen, uh, the Bucks center. This is terrible. Uh, he's one of the best centers uh, in the league. And that's that's a huge loss. It just sucks to hear. He, he was such a good player too on their offensive line. He plays with that intensity and nastiness. See, if there's complications from this, uh, he 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 might he could just retire soon, possibly. It's almost certain this will be that would be his last game that he played uh, with Tom Brady. 
but he liked to not, to not have surgery last season after a serious knee injury somehow playing their playoff game. It's almost certainly, it'll certainly be his last game. That's, that's, how, that's how tough he is, man. Hopefully he can, he can just live a normal, healthy life, uh, pretty much being forced into retirement. Uh, so he remember he signed that uh, three-year, thirty-nine million dollar extension uh, before the twenty twenty-two season. He'll make twenty-six point five million of it playing one playoff game. That's good for him at least. At least he'll make a lot of money. So the uh, Dolphins and Jaguars game in the preseason last night was suspended because uh, Daywood Davis uh, got injured. And, that, and he's, he's been released from the hospital, though, today, which is some good news. And will travel home today with team personnel, which is some good news. Some good news that he's okay. Now, the Eagles, they've released guard Josh Andrews, tight end Dan Arnold, wide receiver Deion Kane, tackle Dennis Kelly, center Cameron Tom, and, and tackle Brett Both, and place tight tackle Roderick Johnson on injured reserve. Oh, well. Those are some players that've been released from the Eagles. Uh, find some more news here. Uh, Brands wide receiver slash returner Jakeem Grant, who was caught off the field during uh, yesterday's game against the Chase, is believed to have suffered a serious patella injury. Sources say if the MRI shows it's torn, Grant would miss the whole 2023 season. Jesus, man, that's back-to-back pre-seasons. He's suffered a season-ending injury. So, uh, he suffered a possible broken patel in his knee. So, that's well, two straight years he's suffered an injury in the preseason. So the Raiders and star running back Josh Jacobs have agreed to terms on a near on a new one year contract that can be worth up to twelve million sources tell Ian Rapport and Tom Pelissero, taking the place of the franchise tag. So the NFL rushing later, he returns on a deal that includes a signing bonus. So Josh Jacobs is finally back. So he's back and he'll sign the deal on Sunday when the team returns. Uh, the Eagles are also waving tight end Tyree Jackson per source, an intriguing athlete who had five catches for 72 yards in the preseason. He, he could be a good tight end three. He has some good upside, at least in my opinion. Bears defensive lineman Jalen Harris was fined $4,185 for a new city roughness. In last week's preseason game, he was ejected for swinging at a Colts player. What a thug. So the NFL... Find Browns rookie QB Dorian Thompson Robinson four thousand six hundred and forty two dollars for unnecessary roughness and illegal blindside block in last week's preseason game. I saw the play, but come on, it's not. A, I mean, it's a blindside block, but why? Why find a four thousand dollars in the preseason, dude? Come on. A QB getting fined for unnecessary roughness. Welcome to the NFL in twenty twenty three. It's just crazy. So we had a trade uh, a few days ago. My Cowboys, they're in the process of completing a trade <coughs> for former number three overall pick, 49ers QB Trey Lance. Sources say Lance gets a fresh start, which I like this for my Cowboys. He could be a good backup, but I don't know why we traded for Trey Lance for. It's kind of a weird like trade. It's for the price of a 2024 fourth round pick and 6.25 million four year and over two seasons. Dallas gets a lottery ticket. He'll be their third stringer now and if he develops potentially solid backup or more. I don't think he'll be the third stringer. I think he'll be the backup behind Dak Prescott. <laughs> I don't know. He could be the good back he could be like a good backup. <laughs> Cause he just wasn't gonna be anything for the 49ers. I'm not gonna say he's trash because he only he's only played what a few games and suffered like a season in the injury. But the trade was official. Um Trey Lance sending or has been sent to the Cowboys for a fourth round pick. Uh 
Okay, let's see if I have some more moves here. Uh, the Bengals waved defensive end trail Basham. Oh, too bad for them. Yeah, it's only for me and Rapport. It's probably about 10 minutes of them. Snuff from there. So, after the Trey Lance move, the Cowboys, uh, the report yesterday, the Cowboys released uh, former Panthers QB Will Gear following the uh, Trey Lance trade. And uh, it kind of sucks. Um, because uh, he had an excellent audition game, showing his ability to the other 31 NFL teams with a sharp performance last night. 29 of 35 passing, 358 total yards, 53 rushing, 4 total touchdowns, 82 completion percentage. I mean, he got, he got to prove himself. Dak Prescott was off the coordinator last night for that preseason game, and he, he, can have, he can have huge potential. I know it was against backups, but he, he, he showed his potential for other teams. So, Malik Cunningham, the Patriots uh, <coughs> rookie, said he said he has no preferred position to play in the NFL. He plays like quarterback, wide receiver, he, a returner. So, he's played everywhere so far. Even as a gunner on special teams and return man, quote, I'm a football player. Whatever they need, whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do it. I feel like I did, though, <coughs> did good over those three games. I need, to work on as a, I need to work on as a quarterback or receiver wherever they put me at. But he has the ability to be an explosive, you know, exciting weapon for the Patriots if they can find a spot on the team for him. He's like a Swiss Army knife. He plays like every position. He's going to make the 53-man roster easy. Basically, he's become basically Taysom Hill from the Saints. Uh, basically. So this isn't NFL related, this is football related. So there was multiple injuries reported as uh, several shots uh, were fired in your high school game and Choctaw, Oklahoma, and uh, the police uh, said believed an argument started between at least two males, which led to the shooting, and two guns with the, were recovered at the scene with eight rounds, but we had some uh, sad news also reported. A 16-year-old uh, lost his life, a 16-year-old uh, male. It's just... Prayers to the 16 year olds, way too young, and prayers to his uh, family. It's just crazy. Like, you can't even be safe at a high school football game. Like, just even at a high school football game, you have to be aware, aware of your surroundings. It's just, it's just sad, honestly. That's just the world nowadays. You gotta be aware of your surroundings all the time, even in a high school football game. The Bears have granted Dan Tra Travis Gibson permission to find a trade. He has 10 sacks in the past two seasons. So they've actually allowed him to seek a trade, but he was bad last year for the Bears, so. I'm trying to find some more news here, but it might be it. Most of this is highlights. Uh, so after the Titans drafted Will Levis in the second round, some believe QB uh, Malik Will's days on the team were numbered. Said he's had a strong offseason. He's made the case to start the season as a quarterback, too. I don't know why they drafted Will Levis for. I don't know why they drafted Will Levis for. Uh, but yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the NFL, so, um, till next time, Alkalot. Peace.